What's the plan to get feasibility to automate tests, a new test, new tab and page? How to handle that? This is a good question, and I actually actually uh, dealt with this on my blog because uh, not having tabs in Cypress it feels like a, such a huge missing feature. Like how can you not have tabs? But the thing is, it actually might not be. Um, imagine you have eShop, right? So you have an eShop application where obviously you can just open multiple tabs and put things in your basket and if you go to the uh, to the checkout you can like see all of your items there right so uh, you want to make sure that this functionality actually works right uh, the thing is though if if you are opening an application uh, what your browser does like you open a new tab right or open a new browser window and you type in your URL you can actually I can actually demonstrate that. What happens, let me open the network panel and just type like google.com, right? I open google.com, uh, I probably made this way too big. And what happens, there is a get request. It's an HTTP request to a certain like URL. So it's a get request, you can see it over here, right? And Google has some 301 going on, not sure why. As a response, you will get an HTML document. So if I click on it, look at the preview, you can see like this is the HTML document, which has this different JavaScript files, which are either like linked to a different location or or are right inside uh, inside the HTML file. What happens when, when a browser opens this, it proceeds to like open every other document, every image, every JavaScript, everything. Get me the script, get me the font, get me the image, etc., etc. So it's like you, you have a starting point and then you like collect everything. And then what also happens is these JavaScript files are just going to interact, right? They're going to download something. They're going to do some requests to the server, etc. And they're going to store some cookies in your browser. Uh, so whenever you open an application, this all is going to happen. So if, you, if you're using multiple tabs, in every of those tabs, this will happen. Like you always will have that one starting point. And the application can be coded in a way that it can look into the data of your browser. So for example, local storage, cookies, and stuff like that. It can create a WebSocket uh, connection. So what really happens when you have multiple tabs and you have like an eShop and you have one eShop opened with multiple tabs, it's really a separate connections to, to the same uh, web page. So not having, not having multiple tab support is kind of, I dare to say it's a non-issue because the one tab is not going to know about another tab. Like two tabs bet don't communicate uh, between themselves in, in a browser. However, if you have an eShop and you have like a basket uh, or shopping cart or something like that, it is going to be stored somewhere. So it can be stored in the browser uh, using a cookie or it can be stored in, on a server. And uh, the way you get that information will be determined by the application you are testing. So if you want to test a scenario where a user would use multiple tabs to do something, you either need to handle the API side of things, if this information that multiple browsers are using uh, is stored on server, or you may use cookies. If the information that multiple browser and multiple tabs are using is stored in cookies. Now, you might say, all right, what about a chat application, right? We can have a chat application. Those are obviously like two tabs. I can test it, right? Manually, I can open one tab, open another tab and do a chat interaction between those two. Again, there must be something that is connecting these two tabs either through server or some kind of local storage. In a chat application, that would not be a local storage, obviously. Uh, it would be some sort of server connection. And that one is usually done via WebSocket. And that might be trickier to, to solve. However, 
our friend Gleb Bahmutol has actually uh, written about this. And I think he wrote a blog about chat application. Yeah, here it is. So test a chat, socket.io chat application using Cypress, right? So obviously we need to have like two connections and test that. And also one more thing uh, Gleb has done, he would have a blog about like running two Cypress instances. Let me just Google two. Yeah, two test runners at the same time. So if you're like absolutely need to open two tabs, uh, that might be that might be a solution for you.